Smackwater Jack Part 2. Hi, I want to talk about Carol King's lyrics, Smackwater Jack. I already made a video about it, and uh, to kind of appreciate what I'm going to, about to say, it's good to watch that video first. So this is like a part two, okay? And this in the first video, just a brief recap, Smackwater is a reference to John chapter 4, when Jesus was talking about, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So, this is the water I think we're talking about, the smack water. And smack water Jack bought a shotgun. Uh, I was saying how that's like a metaphorical shotgun. It's not a real shotgun. It's 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 like uh, the words he's saying are so powerful. It's uh, you can see it as like almost like a shotgun. Okay, and uh, what about this p part? Uh, he shot down the congregation. It's it's like you know it's with ideas and words. It's not it's not literal. Okay. But I wanted to get to this part. Now, Big Jim the Chief stood for law and order. He called for the guard to come and surround the border. Now, from his bulldog mouth, as he led the posse south, came the cry, we got to ride, clean up the streets for our wives and our daughters. Okay, so. I want to say that it seems like Big Jim is out to capture Smackwater Jack. Okay, that's what it ostensibly is going on in this song. But that's not what's really going on. Okay, because Smackwater Jack, my argument is that Smackwater Jack and Big Jim the Chief are the same person. They're one and the same. And they're, they're both like nicknames for Jesus, right? Big Jim the Chief stood for law and order. It's like Jesus stands for law and order in a, in a, uh, in a way. Okay, now, another video I did previously was Bob Dylan's Shelter from the Storm. I talked about, I talked this, about this verse, or this part of the song at length. So that's another video, maybe to refer to, a line that goes, Now the deputy walks on hard nails and the preacher rides in mount. Nothing really matters much. It's doom alone that counts. Okay. So it sounds like we're talking about two people. Well, the deputy walks on hard nails and the preacher rides him out. No. We're talking about the same person, and that person is Jesus. Well, the deputy uh, um, walks on hard nails is kind of a uh, colorful language to describe Jesus being on the cross with the nail through the feet, walks on hard nails. And the preacher rides a mound is also another description of Jesus, okay, where Jesus is, uh, they're talking about the time he rides into Jerusalem on the donkey, okay, uh, the, um, the precursor to Palm Sunday when the people are putting these the, the palms in front of the donkey, okay, so preacher rides a mound. Sounds like we're talking about two people, we're talking about one person, that person is Jesus. This is, this is a recurring thing that happens in song lyrics. I've picked up on this. Don't ask me how, but I just have. And and so, now Big Jim the Chief stood for law and order. We're talking about Jesus again. He called for the guard to come and surround the border. Now from his bulldog mouth, as he led the posse south. Okay, so it sounds like he's leading a posse. Uh, he's like the, uh, the lawman leading a posse. No. It's, it's more or less uh, I, I, Jesus attracting the, the guards. The, the picture I get in my mind is he, the, the, he's attracting the soldiers to him uh, and before they arrest him. Okay, they led the posse south. Okay, came to cry, we got to ride, clean up the streets for our wives and our daughters. Okay, um, so ostensibly... Big Jim is coming to round up Smackwater Jack. But what's really going on is 
The smack water is talking about John chapter 4, the living water. Smack water Jack is a nickname for Jesus. Now, you shot down the congregation doesn't mean literally. It's, uh, it's more of a, uh, you know, ideas. Uh, now, here's another one. You can't, this is another ambiguity. You can't talk to a man with a shotgun in his hand. Okay, so at first glance, it's, it, you know, it sounds like you can't talk to a man with a shotgun in his hand because he doesn't want to listen and this and that. No. First of all, the shotgun isn't a real shotgun. It's, it, again, it's that metaphorical, uh, you know, words, uh, living water, uh, the, the, the words. Um, Whoever shall drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Okay, so the shortcoming is uh, is we are not able to talk with Jesus. Okay, you can't talk to a man with a shotgun in his hand. It's not that the you, it's not that the guy with the shotgun in his hand can't be spoken to it's that you're not able to speak to him Do you understand the ambiguity okay so there's there's a couple things going on interesting in this song the account of the capture wasn't in the papers you know they hanged the old smack right then instead of later so we're talking about I think this is talking about the crucifixion they hanged the old smack right then instead of later you know the people were quite pleased because the outlaw had been seized and on the whole, it was a very good year for The Undertaker. Smackwater Jack, yeah, Smackwater Jack bought a shotgun. Smackwater Jack bought a shotgun. Ah, talking about Smackwater Jack, yeah, talking about Smackwater Jack. Talking about Jack and his shotgun. Talking about Smack, talking about Jack, Smackwater Jack, yeah. So, those are a couple of theories I have about what's going on in this song.